right, page eight starts with dividing by synthetic division. So I need to divide this quartic by B minus two. What I want to do is in the little half box, if you remember, we're going to put the root of B minus two, whatever makes that equal to zero. So we're going to put two in there. Okay, across the top, we're going to put the coefficient. So one, four, three, two, one, none. I'm not missing any terms. One, negative three, eight, negative 21, and 11. And then just follow the process. So drop the one, two times one is two. Uh, negative three plus two is negative one. Two times negative one is negative two. Add and you get six, multiply you get 12. Add you get negative nine, multiply you get negative 18, which gives you a remainder of negative seven. So you've got, um, if you start with a power of four then you, uh, and you divide out one, then you are left with a power of three. So this is b to the third minus b squared plus six b minus 9, and then minus 7 divided by b minus 2. Now if you accidentally use x, it's fine, but then also use x is here, okay? So a lot of people put x, 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 and then they put b. And that, that doesn't really make sense. So just try and keep it consistent. And that is my answer. Now if I want to make sure that my answer is correct, one thing I can do is it's called the, uh, the remainder theorem. If I plug in 2 into the function, I should get the remainder, and if I don't get it, then i got to figure out what's wrong. So 2 to the 4th minus 3 times 2 to the 3rd <laughs> plus 8 times 2 squared and then minus 21 times 2 plus 11 and I get negative 7. So um, we are good. Alright, number 60. Uh, B plus 2 is what I'm dividing by, so I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, negative 2 in the half box. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, none. I'm not missing any terms. So 1, 6, negative 2, negative 15, 14, and 8. So drop the 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So that's negative 10. Negative 2 times negative 10 is 20, which makes that 5. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, which makes that 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Remainder 0. I just did that entire thing off camera. That's cute. So the opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. I do the leading coefficients 1, 6, negative 2, negative 15, 14, and 8. And then we drop. So drop the 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Add, you get 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Add, and you get negative 10. Negative 2 times negative 10 is 20. Add, and you get positive 5. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. 14 minus 10 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, remainder 0. Which means, I start with the power of 5, I divide it out of power of 1, I'm left with the power of 4. So 1b to the 4th, plus 4b cubed, minus 10b squared, plus 5b, plus 4. And that is my answer. And that was a terrible 5. Alright. Number 61. Number 61, we need to divide by 3n minus 5, so we are going to put in the half box a positive 5 thirds. Okay? So positive 5 thirds. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, none. So 3, 1, negative 7, negative 14, 27, and negative 23. Okay. We drop the 3. And um, what I'm going to say every time is like this number divided by 3 and then multiplied by 5. So dividing first makes it smaller. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 2 times 5 is 10. Um, negative 7 plus 10 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Times 5 is 5. Negative 14 plus 7 is, sorry, negative 14 plus 5 is negative 9. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3, and negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 27 minus 15 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 4 times 5 is 20. So that leaves me with the remainder of negative 3. Now here's the thing. Um, we are dividing out 3 and minus 5. <laughs> uh, Alex Jones just about died. Okay. So now we, uh, <laughs> if you consider it like, is no one at the door? Open it. Okay. Let's go. So, 
if you were to multiply this times this uh, quartic right here, because it would be 3 into the 4 plus 6 n cubed, you'd have a 3 times a 3 in the front, that would be a 9. So you have to remember to divide these by 3, but not the, um, not the remainder. Okay? So this is actually 1, 2, 1, negative 3, and 4 with a remainder of negative 3. So uh, the variable's n, so n to the 4th plus 2n cubed plus n squared minus 3n plus 4 and then minus 3 divided by 3n minus 5. Alright, number 62. And number 62 we're trying to divide by this quadratic, which actually means we're dividing by two different binomials. We're dividing by x minus 4 and x minus 1. It's kind of up to you on which one you want to do first. Um, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and just do the 1 first. So 4, negative 6, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, 9. Okay. Negative 48, 26, and 24. So drop the 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Add and you get negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Add and you get negative 50. 1 times negative 50 is negative 50. Plus 26 is negative 24. And 1 times negative 24 is negative 24, which gives a remainder of 0. If you do not get a remainder of 0, you cannot keep going with this. Because okay? I have some people that, that don't get a remainder and then they just are of 0. And then they just keep on going. Okay, so... We divided out the 1, now we need to divide out the x minus 4, so we're going to um, put a positive 4 in the half box. So drop the 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 minus 2 is 14, 4 times 14 is 56, 40 and 16, okay, so 56, so that's 6, 4 times 6 is 24, remainder 0. So my final answer is, if I started with a power of 4 and I divided out a power of 2, then I'm left with a power of 2, so 4x squared plus 14x plus 6. Um, yes, they are all even. They could divide by 2, but that's not, that wouldn't, like, this doesn't have a leading coefficient of 2 or 4. So I would have to multiply this times this to get a leading coefficient of 4x to the 4th. So if you did factor a 2 out, you'd have to put it, like, 2 times, because otherwise, if you get rid of it, you change the problem. This is the answer. We're not dealing with an equation, so you can't just get rid of common factors. All right, number 63. Now we are dividing by a quadratic. So our, if, if this is the 2 that we're going to divide out, then we'll no longer have a 2 in our answer, so we will have to divide it out to make it represent that. Okay? So I'm going to factor this. The factors of negative 6 that add up to positive 1 are, let's see, you've got, uh, let's see, you need negative and add, so negative 3, positive 2. Yes. Okay. So x minus 3, x plus 2. But then you've got to remember to divide by uh, 2. So we've got a positive 3 halves and a negative 1. Yes. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and write it as. Um, uh, okay. These are the factors these are the roots that we're going to go ahead and put in the synthetic division. So I'll just go ahead and start with negative 1, make it easier on ourselves. So negative 1, 2, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, I am missing uh, a single term, 0x to the first, so I'm going to have to put that. 2, 7, negative 8, negative 37, 0, and 36. Alright, drop the 2. 1 times, uh, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, add and you get 5, negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, add and you get negative 13, negative 1 times negative 13 is positive 13, add and you get negative 24, hmm, did I just do that right, yeah, negative 1 times negative 24 is 24, add and you get 24, okay, something, did I do something wrong? Plus one, so negative one, two x minus three. Two x minus three and x plus one, right? So 
Oh, I said negative three. I need a positive three, Jennifer. <laughs> and a negative two. I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. So that should be a negative, that should be a positive. Dang, I'm fired. Okay, positive one. Uh, one. Okay, two, two, nine, nine, which makes this one. One. Negative 36. Negative 36. Negative 36. And negative 36. Good. Wow, that was terrible. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm going to write these numbers again. 2, 9, 1, negative 36, negative 36. Alright, now we're going to divide out. Um, this is be a plus, so now it's a negative 3 halves. So, drop the 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 to negative 3 is negative 3. 6, and you add. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And you get negative 8. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. And that is a negative 24 when I add. Negative 24 divided by 12 is... Uh, sorry, negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. And negative 12 times negative 3 is a positive 36. Okay. Now, I did divide out... Um, the the term with the two leading coefficients, so I do have to divide that out. So my final answer is, start with the power of five, and I divided out two of them, so I'm left with the power of three. X cubed, two divided by two is one, six divided by two is three, so three X squared minus four X minus 12. And that is my answer. That was kind of rough. Factor and solve the equation, number 64. So that is a sum of perfect cubes, and you have to remember the formula for that. So a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b a squared plus a b always plus b squared. Okay? This is um, a sum of perfect cubes in that we can say this is 2a being cubed and this is 3 being cubed. So I've got my a and my b. So we need to solve it. Okay, we need to factor it out completely. So 2a plus 3, so a plus b, and I've got a squared. So 2a quantity squared is 4a squared minus... 2a times 3, so minus 6a, and then plus b squared, which is plus 9. Alright, now we're ready to solve. This right here, a equals negative 3 halves in order to make this equal 0. And then we're going to have to do the quadratic formula here. a equals negative b, so positive 6, plus and minus the square root of b squared, negative 6 squared, which is positive 36, minus 4 times a, which is 4 times c, which is 9, all over 2 times a, which is 4. So I've got 6 plus and minus, I've got 36 minus 4, 36, and negative 3, 36 is, 36 times 3 is 108, yeah. So I've got negative 108 underneath there, and then I've got 8, so you could just type that in if you needed to. That is negative 36 times 3. So when I take the square root, I've got 6 plus and minus 6i root 3, or 6 square root of 3i, all over 8. Final answer is 3 plus and minus 3 square root of 3i, all over 4, because I can divide each of these numbers by 2. I guess I should say my final answers are both of these, or all three. I guess there's three answers. Number 65, we're going to solve using um, com uh, factor by grouping. So we're going to group these two, and then we're going to group these two. Now, I did put um, two parentheses beside each other, but we are not multiplying. We are actually adding, but I need to take the negative with it. So the goal is to get two different groups. Um, uh, if you factor out something, you get the same thing left over. So what do I factor out of 8 and 10? A 2. And there's two x's in each, so a 2x squared. I'm left with a 4x minus 5. So the goal is 4x minus 5. Like, I, I need that, okay? So then it's like, what do I multiply, what do I factor out of negative 12 to get for? And that is a negative 3. And 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5, so we're good. 
Now here's what we're doing. We're factoring out a 4x minus 5, and you are left with 2x squared minus 3, whatever's left. So now I set them individually equal to 0. This equals 0 at positive 5 fourths, so you divide by 4, or add the bottom, divide by 4. And then this one, we're going to add to 3, and then divide by 2, and then take the square root. x equals plus and minus the square root of 3 over 2, which is plus and minus the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2, rationalize, and you get plus and minus the square root of 6 over 2. And so there are your three answers to that. And last thing on this page, number 66. Okay, this is um, not a factor by grouping. This is called quadratic form, so we're going to treat it like a quadratic. Um, 3 times negative 18, so 30 plus negative 54. So we're looking for the factors of negative 54 that add up to 25. So you got 1 and 54, and you got 2 and 27. Uh, negative 2 times 27, it gives me negative 54, but adds up to 25. So we're going to write x. Normally we just write x, but because it's x to the fourth, we write x squared. We're going to write minus 2 and plus 27. But then remember to divide by the 3. So you really got x squared minus 2 thirds. And you've got 4, 3x squared minus 2. And then you've got x squared plus uh, 9 equals 0. So I'm going to set this equal to 0 and solve. x squared equals a positive 2 thirds. x equals plus and minus the square root of 2 over 3. Multiply top and bottom by square root of 3. And you've got plus and minus the square root of 6 over 3. So there's two answers. And then this one, x squared equals a negative 9. So subtract the 9 over, take the square root, plus and minus 3i. And that is just a quadratic form problem. Okay, that's the end of page 8.